Expats in Netherlands is the podcast for people who are looking to navigate the Dutch culture and lifestyle. We share our personal experiences and insights on everything from finding housing to getting around. In this episode, we discuss how to survive the daily commute in this land of bikes, canals, and tulips. Uno, due, tre. Welcome to a new episode of our podcast, Experts in Netherlands. Today's topic is a listener suggestion, actually. Oh, really? Yes, we uh, we got an email with a suggestion. And one of the suggestions was commuting. How do you guys commute and what's a typical way of commuting in the Netherlands? So that's what we're going to address today. Um, if you have any questions or feedback, feel free to reach us at expertsinnetherlands at gmail.com. Instagram, or... yeah, expert in Netherlands. And YouTube, YouTube, you cannot message us. <laughs> you can write a comment. <laughs> yes. Sure. Um, what are the main uh, options for uh, traveling? A bike. <laughs> yeah. So first. first of all, commuting is, it means going to work uh, every day. It's basically what okay. you do as a routine yeah. to go to work, to go to university, or so forth. You mentioned bike. Yes. That is the main... Uh, way of commuting in the, Nether- in the Netherlands, right? Yeah, that's a bit crazy, I would say. Uh, no, I mean, I love it, but yeah. I wasn't used to see the traffic, the bike traffic that there is in the Netherlands. Yeah, but uh, also in Utrecht, the bike traffic is much more. Yeah, yeah, there is a lot of there is a lot of yeah. traffic, um, but it's it's a nice way. Uh, bike traffic. Yeah, it's a bike traffic. <laughs> yes. It's a, it's a new thing. Huh? <laughs> for us at least we're not used you can say car traffic that's yeah. what we usually have but uh yeah and um yeah there is a, a multiple ways to get hold to a bike in my experience when i first came here i tried to find the cheapest bike i yeah, could me find too. i think almost everyone yeah and i personally managed to find buy a bike for 50 euros so I bought one bike for 50 euros, of course a used bike for 50 yes, euros, okay. and it was... Uh, where did you find it? I went to Amsterdam to actually get it. No, where did you find that guy that was selling uh, this? A Facebook. Oh, it yeah, was... me too. I also found it on Facebook. Yeah, uh, it was a guy selling it on Facebook, and uh, it was a horrible bike. The I seat... remember. Yeah. They glued the seat so you couldn't bring it up and down, right? Yeah, I don't know if they glued it, but it was stuck. Yeah, so, also you brought it to a shop and they couldn't move the seat. No. It was crazy. There but was no I way. also bought it from Facebook. Um, yeah, mine was a little bit more expensive. <laughs> it was 90 euros. 90 euros, but you had a decent bike. Yeah, could... it's a good uh, gazelle, but an old. Gazelle. Yeah, super old. Yeah, but I still have it. I still use that one. Yeah. So. I couldn't use it after yeah, a few months. I sold it and I went to Decathlon to buy a new bike. Uh, yes, and that one also is not perfect. No, it was 170 euros in total, which for the Netherlands is super cheap yeah, it's for a really new bike. I think you search to find a really, really cheap Yeah, in the night, you cannot, usually, you cannot find anything below 300 euros really yeah which is too much for italy for example yeah. right compared to what i was used to it's a uh, it's a real a lot of money yeah but okay fine so my bike is still shitty in terms of it breaks from time to time and does it break your bike yeah it, it's a new one it's weird it's in, uh, yeah because it's not great quality yes yeah, still but but yeah i wouldn't invest too much in a bike because it gets us to, I really want to feel free to leave it somewhere and then go to the grocery store or to a shop. And then, yeah, I don't want to think about, oh, my bike is going to get stolen. But that's because us, we don't com- properly commute with the bike. But there is a lot of d- Dutch people or... Uh, no, I also was going to the center. Yeah, but not anymore. Yeah. Not anymore. Yeah. So that means that some people d- travel 30 minutes. 40 yeah. minutes, sometimes even one hour if they are quite passionate about it, mm. just to go to work. So one hour bike before going to work. 
uh, that means I don't know which is the, the job is maybe 20 kilometers away or then it's a good investment yeah then it's nice to travel with a nice yeah. bike possibly an electric bike because mm-hmm. like in Amsterdam it's it's a pain to go around with the car yeah that's impossible either bike or tram or yeah public transports are great yeah public transports are bike great. also there are plenty of bikes mm. the car is impossible they make it super expensive to you to park anywhere they, and yeah basically impossible to to go around but in them. big cities it's it's really handy to have a decent bike i'm not saying a really good one yeah but if you go to the, the small the dorps the villages around the big city i think it would be good to have a car i mean if you have a car then you would be really flexible let's say yeah plus the parking is also free usually in the villages but in the city you oh my god it's just you regret having a <laughs> car <laughs> and uh, when when you get a job or let's say most of the jobs yeah allow you or try to favor they are in favor of you getting a, a bike i'm saying this because mm-hmm. there is a lot of advantages or uh, help that the uh, specific bedrive which means uh, specific offices give companies, you yes companies yes the companies give you in order to get a hold of a bike in my yes. case there are two options in my job mm-hmm. there is in the first option is if you leave i don't know close to the to the office yeah. i don't know how close but something like i don't know how close okay. so you don't need to use public transport they give you the cash for a bike mm-hmm. they actually allow you to, to yeah okay, they give you some nice. cash to buy a bike if you live far away instead you can have basically a discount of a bike yeah um so maybe you use the bike for a piece of the commute from mm-hmm. your home to the train station for example before going to work then you have a discount yeah you have a discount the discount but, usually is basically you can detract that's a proper word i think you have to pay just correct me if i'm wrong you have to pay completely for the bike and then you declare the, the office declares for you for the extra that's okay it's a discount or whatever so you pay the total amount and then they give you back some part of it right yes correct around the 30 percent of the bike you okay. get back more or less the 30 percent i don't cost. have what you have you you are working university i think universities all of them have it right i imagine but not sure yeah uh, but i heard it also in other jobs that this is yeah, this other, is a thing mm, other jobs also bold.com oh, okay. uh, our friends at bold.com they have it so it's not only university states okay i don't know because i don't have it okay but i work in a consultancy company i usually consultancy companies they give you a budget for a lease car and then they make it easy for you to have a car yeah and... i just wanted to finish on 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 the bike basically the advantage i get this 30 percent back that i get is because you pay the bike with your gross basically they uh, consider like if you earn whatever you spent for the bike less that year okay you know what i'm saying yes so if in one year you earn i don't know twenty thousand yeah. you spent on one thousand in in the bike they declare like if you earned nineteen thousand so that you don't pay the taxes on that twenty percent on that thousand euros bike you bought. okay great that's uh that's how you get it but yeah you were saying uh at your job they give you the lease car they or they facilitate the use of a lease car yes usually they uh like all of my colleagues i also had a lease car so uh yeah so if you get it you can get a lease car also yourself privately but if you get it through the company i think because you are using it for the business the taxes are lower so you have like a benefit something like that that um using a lease car for your car would be much better than privately leasing it itself so which means basically they give you a budget with which that you can put towards leasing a car that means yes, then. you're paying a monthly budget to get a car and you don't need to pay for anything else 
Yeah, so if you need to change the tires, you just take an appointment, they change it for you for free. I mean, it's all included in the lease um, amount that yeah you give it. Or like if something breaks or you have a scratch or anything, you just during your lease contract, you can go there and then they fix it for you all for free. And also you don't pay for car taxes, so road tax, because it's included. It's included in there, yes. You don't pay for insurance because it's included. Yeah, everything is included in there. Also, like the companies, sometimes they give you the um, cash for the petrol. So when you go to the go to the office, you don't need to pay for it. You don't need to worry about the cost of your commuting. Yeah, and that's really nice because um, I now that we don't have a lease car anymore and we all, we have my car. So the work car anymore, but we only have the yeah. car that I imported from Italy. I'm actually paying, or we are actually paying for the road tax. And it's a lot of money, really a lot mm. is I didn't expect it. But for me, for my car, which is an old golf of some sort, a really normal car. Yes. Um, it's around a thousand euros per year, just in tax, road tax. But if it, if it was an electric car, we would pay less. Right? Probably, yes. But the cost of an electric car, I mean, we didn't buy the car, you know, we already had it. So yes, it, it's not worth changing. Yeah, I mean, I'm just saying that if you have the option to buy one, yeah, you have to think about this kind of stuff that if you get an electric car, maybe it would be better in your costs. Yeah, but not every job gives you these no, advantages. No, mostly consultancy jobs, yes. Yeah, mostly consultancy jobs. One cool thing, though, by traveling by car that for me was different coming from uh, Italy is that uh, you don't have highway tolls. In the Netherlands. In yes. the Netherlands, yes. So when you travel on the highway, it's for free. You just enter and there is nothing. Basically, yeah. there is no stopping. Barrier. While in Italy, you have a barrier, you need to stop, pay yeah. for it. It's a process, basically. <laughs> Old fashioned process. Yeah, correct. Um, okay, so we covered a little bit of a bike. To be honest, I would like an electric bike, but we'll see. We'll see. Uh, we covered a little bit of a bike. But then you have to get also the battery for it. And then I see that my friends, they come with the electric bike, they have a battery with themselves they bring it to the office so that the battery doesn't get stolen i mean like come on i don't want to think about all of those <laughs> and then the battery is a huge i go to the swimming pool the girl comes next to the swimming pool like with the battery I'm like where do you want to put that i get it um car bike trains i think that it's worth mentioning the ov card ov chip card Yes, also you mentioned before that the company usually gives you the train card, an OB chip card, with it, which is a train card, and then it's blue. <laughs> that means it's a business card when it's blue. And yeah, you can take the um, train to go to work for free. Usually, like, they're not usually, but some companies, they allow you to use it also for personal traveling. Yeah, in, in my case, it's not allowed for personal. Yeah, also uh, mine is not allowed. But yeah, sometimes also you can just use it for your personal commuting and then they check and then they just remove it from your salary at the yeah, end of the month. Makes I mean, sense. It's a lot of paperwork for them. So, <laughs> <laughs> but yeah. So the OV chip card is a card with your picture. Basically, you travel, you take the train, the bus or the tram, any public transport really, and the yeah, is paid by the company. The cost is paid by the company they provided you. The OV. Yeah, card. but the one that the company pays for it doesn't have your picture. Does uh, it? Yes, it does. Oh, mine it doesn't have it. Interesting. They didn't put. The oh, picture. I know why. I know why. Oh, why? Because yours you pay by every ride, so your company yes. pays for every ride, and I had the same at the beginning. But now that COVID is done, they yeah. opened a um abonnement right how do you say it in english abonnement 
I think it's abonnement, yeah. As a subscription. A subscription, yeah. a monthly subscription. And when you have a monthly subscription, then you they need to put your picture on it. Okay. I don't have that. Yet. Yeah. Interesting. Yeah, 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 yeah. I didn't know. So that's a that's a thing. Mm -hmm. uh, the many jobs give you, not everybody, because if you work in a horeca, mm -hmm. which means... Hotel, restaurant, cafe. Yeah. Most of the time, or I heard that, yeah, frequently they don't give it to you. Yeah, I didn't. I have friends that they work in horeca. Yeah, I, yeah. now that I think about it, they were paying for their own commuting. Yeah. Interesting. Yeah. And um, do you know the reason or no, I don't know the reason. Okay. I've been told that if you work for a big, um, a big chain of mm -hmm. some sort, and maybe you need to travel, um, change the city or something like this, then they might, they might give it to you. But as uh, there's small restaurant, pizzeria, or oh, because there are small businesses, basically. Yeah, there's small yeah. businesses that don't give it to you. Okay. So worth to keep in consideration. I mean. Yeah, you probably want but to. But you cannot also, I mean, you don't work in Oracle, but I'm just trying to ask. You cannot also de declare your cost to. I imagine that if you're working in Oracle, yes. so in a, or, or at least in a restaurant, you're living near the restaurant. You don't yeah, travel 50 kilometers to work in a restaurant, do you? I mean, could be. Yeah, no, of course it could be. Yeah. But I'm saying most of the time you don't. But if you do another job. I don't know. Maybe I will ask later from my friend that works in work. Yeah. But that's uh, that's my uh, that's my yeah. assumption. Interesting also, though, for students, how the OVC card works for students. And I know because I talked to uh, because my students. students. <laughs> yeah. Basically, they get a discount. Um, it's Okay, they get, they travel for free. During your studies, you can use the train, you, you get an OV chip card, the same, student OV chip card, and you travel absolutely for free. But you need to decide if traveling for free during the week or in the weekends. Mm -hmm. So if you, if you, how do they go? Oh, yes. If you live, in, if you rent an apartment near the university, Usually you they don't tend, need to go. Come. You tend to yeah, you don't need to use it during the week, so yeah. you get it free during the weekend. Yeah, so that you go back to your family and then yeah. Yes, so that you can use it to go back to your family. If you live further or maybe you live with your family and you're a bit further out yeah. from the from the university, then you get it during the week so that you use it for commuting to okay. the university for but free. But is it only free for students that have student loan or is it for all students? All students. For all students is... Uh, but do they have to give it back after their studies? The if, money? If you uh, get the... How can I say? The if degree. you pass the studies, if you get the degrees, it's a present for you. In a certain amount of time, right? 10 years. What do you mean? You, mean you start the bachelor's degree and then... You have 10, 10 years to conclude it. To a bachelor's it. degree. I mean, you will conclude it, I hope, in 10 years. No, it's, you think so, but not necessarily. Okay. Or maybe after three, three years, you decide, hey, this is not for me and you abandon it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Then you need to give back the money. Mm -hmm. And um, I, they explained to me that it's, you don't need to give back the money. Basically, the way you need to give back the money is... A, uh, like if you were paying for a, a monthly subscription. So you need to give back something around 80 or 90 euros per month per the duration of the time that you got the student card. Ah, oh, okay. Only if you fail, only not if you fail, but if you decide to stop with your studies without yes. getting yeah, the degree. Yeah, okay, I understand. I think it's quite reasonable so that you don't basically just use the benefit of being a student and then leave it there. Otherwise, everyone would have a student card. Yeah, you need to get a, de a, a yes. degree by the end and it's a, a present, mm -hmm. let's say. Okay, state. that's interesting. Yeah. The OV chip card you can use. It. Oh, this the, if you get it, if the students get it for free during the week, in the weekend, they have 40% discount. 
if they mm-hmm. get for free during the weekend, during the week they have 40% discount. Okay. So there is also this. Mm-hmm. And recently we opened in our personal OV chip card also the discount. Yeah, 40% discount. I, I added it. We to are my not card. students, but. Yes, not to. Okay, so I have two OV chip cards. One is my business OV chip card that the work gave it to me. One is my personal OV chip card with my picture on it. So my on my personal OV chip card, I added this subscription that I pay like 5.6 euros per month. But instead, I have 40% uh, discount on the train tickets in a certain times. So it's, wait, I remember from 12, um, like at night, basically in the middle of the night, from 12 till 6 a.m. And then from 10 a.m. till 6 p.m. So Something... like some, uh, somewhere that is not in rush hours. Yeah, the off-peak hours. The off-peak hours, yes. Exactly. Bravo. And then you can also um, add it to your, if, if we travel together, we can go to the machine and say that, oh, like I am traveling with someone that has the subscription. And then you would also automatically get the discount because you are traveling with me. Exactly. And I, and I checked, there are two options. Either you get, if you want the 40% discount during the weekdays, you buy, you pay 5.6 plus weekend. So weekdays and weekend you get, um, it's five euros something, five euros mm-hmm. 60, but for two euros 60, you can get the 40% discount only in weekends. Oh, okay. I didn't know. It exists this option. Yeah, but we never know we, when no. we use it, so I just got everything. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, it makes sense. Um, okay. The WeChip card, you can also use it to rent some cars. There are some yeah. cars that are called the My Wheels car that you... It's no, no, no. Car sharing system, yeah. It's because there are two. I always confuse the names. There is green wheels and my wheels. Mm-hmm. Green wheels, you can rent them with the OV chip card. Okay. But it's not for free. Mm-hmm. It's of course you need to pay for. It. And I'm not sure how it works the payment system yes. in terms of uh, uh, how how expensive it is. But you scan basically the same card on the windshield of the car. Yes. There is a machine there that reads your card, opens the car for you, and you can use it. But the green wheels is also here, or in, in some provinces it is? Uh, yeah, I believe it's not everywhere. You yeah, need okay. to check if, you, if it is available in your area. And the other option is, if you want to rent a car, is uh, My Wheels, that now also acquired Amber Cars. Mm-hmm. And Amber Cars, I used it recently for the first time to, through my company. Basically, Amber Cars is a service that many companies uh, recently subscribe to, where um, you are allowed as an employee, an employer, an employee, as an mm-hmm. employee, you are allowed to rent a car for a specific occasion. In my okay. case, I had to go visit a specific company. Mm-hmm. I needed a car. It was an electric car and I rented it through the app. Okay. How was it? Interesting. And then where did you leave it? I picked it up uh, in Utrecht. Yes. I went wherever I had to go. I went to Nijmegen and I parked it there. I put it in charge there. Is it some it. specific places that you can? It's like tier bikes. You know, you remember that we also got tier yeah. a scooter and then you once by yourself, you got a tier bike. That you these are scooters and bikes that are on the street they have certain places and then you just rent it out i paid with paypal i don't know if you can pay with your ov chip card no no with the ov chip card you need yeah. to have a specific app but then when you use it you have you can leave it in certain places and you can check it from the app exactly there are areas basically yeah, areas are where areas. you can leave it but did you also do that with the car or no yes but the areas are pretty big Oh, okay. It's not just yeah, one parking lot. Okay. It's like this centrum or whatever, you okay. know, it's so a few the, kilometers yeah, area. There is the probability that someone else in that area would pick it up. Yes. And when you, if you plan the, the, the ride the day before, they deliver and you are in one of these green areas, they deliver the car in front of your house. 
or whatever you want the car to oh, be. Oh, I didn't know. I never got uh, the car like this, so I never know. Yeah. So you actually don't need to own a car. No. Yeah. If you, yeah, uh, de it really depends where you live. In fact, my next question for you is, is what's the difference in um, by cities? What I mean is, you've you visited a few cities, right? Or you lived in a few cities I, in I the lived Netherlands. In three cities in Netherlands. Yeah. How is it different? Which cities have you have you lived? Den Bosch, Eindhoven, Utrecht. Utrecht, and we know a little bit about Amsterdam. Yeah, Amsterdam. Okay. Is there any difference between Eindhoven and Utrecht, for example, in terms of commuting? Eindhoven, I, they don't have any tram for sure. Uh, there is the bus and the train, but usually people would go around with their bike. Yeah, so with uh, Utrecht, let me think. Let me think. <laughs> <laughs> so, not much difference, to be honest. Utrecht, of course, it's bigger. From our place, we cannot get the tram. Because we are a bit on the periphery, is it called? Outer part of the city. Yes, we are on the outer part. But like I, I saw the tram from the Canal Island, for example, you can use it. But there is not much difference. There is the bus in Eindhoven. They usually use that one. But if you live there, you wouldn't pay for the bus, you know, you, you get your bike and the city is not that big. You can get everywhere with your bike. Yeah. Yeah, correct. And um, also when we go to Amsterdam, just for visiting or going to friends, mm -hmm. even if we take if we go by car, you cannot ever go to the place where you want to go because you need to pay a lot of money for parking. We park yes. it in a park and ride. Park. Yes. Yeah, so there are some um, certain parkings in Amsterdam, they're usually around Amsterdam. It's called the uh, park and ride, like P plus R. Around you Amsterdam, know. you mean in the outer part? In the outer part. It's not really in the center, no. Yeah. And then you park there. The normal range of uh, the normal fee for parking there, like for a day, is like 24 euros or something yeah. like that. But if you park there and then you use the metro or the bus or whatever the public, public transport. transport then the uh, parking would be one euro for you for the day so yeah. that is handy if you are going from outside Amsterdam to Amsterdam yeah. or you get the train to get to Amsterdam and you solve the, the, the issue which yeah. is what we need to do because I really find it in, really inconvenient to move by car yeah in okay we are quite close to Amsterdam but imagine if you want to go from Limburg to Amsterdam then your train ticket could be much more expensive yeah. than your car. Yeah, it really depends if you're if you get that reimbursed from your company or not, if you have the discount or not. Uh, the yeah, but still, I think like or paying or p paying one euro for parking <laughs> is reasonable, no? If you have the car, if but it depends also how is it running your car in terms of how much does it consume. In petrol yeah. sense of who pays for it who pays for it yeah <laughs> one thing i want to mention that for me was really different from my experience is that here i'm traveling to go to work and my work location or office is 70 kilometers away from my house and 70 kilometers in italy it's unreasonable to travel 70 kilometers to go to work oh it would take you a lot of time. It would be really expensive. But here I have a few colleagues that do that live where we are living in Utrecht and travel yeah. to uh, Nijmegen to, to work. I mean, it's well connected, no? It's well connected. It's easy. If you want to go by car, it's easy to get on the highway. So it's it's pretty normal, I would say. It's uh, Yeah, I was traveling a lot in Italy from Como to uh, one part of Milan for swimming pool, you remember? It was uh, three trains I had to change and it was quite expensive. Each train was like five euros or something. But how many kilometers was it? Probably 30 or so? 
I don't remember exactly, but it was it was less, but it's not well connected. And then you have to switch the train. The train gets canceled or delayed and then you will lose the other train. Exactly. So it's a mess. It's a mess. But here, I don't find it like that. No. I, I think as well, either two, one train and two buses or sometimes two, three trains. It really depends on the day. Yes. But I, they, I almost never have a problem. Maybe once a month. There is a delay in the train or something like this, but sometimes, it's not a big deal. Yeah. Sometimes they're early. <laughs> sometimes the trains come early. Yeah. Yes. So I I travel seventy kilometers. I change a lot of um, a lot of public transports to go to work, but I don't really mind. They're comfortable. That you find almost always find space to sit, so to read a book or mm. or do your own things. Yes, and yeah. then they're clean also compared to the trains in Italy, I would say. I agree. I agree. And uh, we travel second class. If your job allows you to travel first class, yes, then that is even better. But there is no difference that much between second class and first class. The main difference is in extra peak hours when yes, I'm travel, f- which is full of students, there is nobody in first class. Oh, and okay. So yes. You always find a spot. But like the chairs, <laughs> they're the same, but just the color sure. is different. Yeah, sure, sure. Yeah. I agree. That's the main difference. Yeah, because in my previous job, I was traveling with first class and then I was like, what is the difference? There was no difference. Sometimes, well, because I travel at exact times that all the students travel. Yeah. Sometimes it's, you're really squished in, in the yeah, train. Yeah, I see. And first class would, uh, would help. You know, mm. um, but you can uh, pay the difference. You can to your company and say, okay, I want to go first class. Yeah, yeah, that's an option for sure. Yeah. Anything else that comes to your mind mm. in terms of commuting? I think it's healthy to commute with the bike. <laughs> <laughs> I agree. We should we should pick up the the bike more. <laughs> Oh, but one interesting tip is if at the beginning you don't want to buy a bike immediately, there are some services. Yes, there is like Swapfits, for example. Swapfits is one service Mm -hmm. that would you do you know a little bit about it? A little bit. I know I never got it, but I know that like some people that they come and instead of buying a bike, they get it, they rent it. So it's I'm not sure exactly how much it is, but it's quite affordable, like 20 euros per month you pay yeah. for it and then it's really in a good condition and then uh if something happens with it it's exactly like the lease car like you bring it back they fix it for you for free and then it has insurance so if it, it gets stolen so you have in you are insured basically you if you get stolen you pay 50 euros you need to pay 50 euros for the stolen bike and that's it oh okay yeah I don't know. it's around 20 euros a month it really depends on what bike you get because you can get it with with the uh, gears so oh, okay. whether you can yeah. change gears or not it's a bit more expensive if you change mm. the gears but uh, even more expensive if you decide to get it electric because you can rent also an electric one i believe for 40 euros a month you can get an electric bike yes and um yeah i got to discover that service because when i first came here i had my bike i had a problem with my bike probably the seat mm. i wanted to adjust the seat and I saw this place that looked to me like a repair shop. Mm. I went inside. It was called, what's the name? Fits. Swap Fits. Swap Fits. Yeah. It's called the Swap Fits. And they told me, do you know that we are not a typical uh, <laughs> repair shop? And I said, no. <laughs> like, yeah, and we are rental service. We are not a repair shop. <laughs> we are, yeah. yeah. And uh, we only repair our own bike. And you can, <laughs> you can, um, Understand that it's a swap fit because the front wheel. Yes, it's different. It's blue usually, right? Yeah, it's blue. It's ever like when you come to Netherlands, you actually notice it because everyone has these bikes that the front wheel or the back wheel. I'm not sure which one. One of them is blue, and then you're like, "What is happening? Why everyone has one blue wheel? Those are rental bikes." Yeah, those are the swap fits. Yes. And. We mentioned a lot of the OV chip card. With the OV chip card, you can also rent 24 hours an OV bike. Yeah, OV bike for three euros, I guess, for uh, 24 hours. Is but you need to pick it up 
and leave it down at the same place. Mm -hmm. If you pick it up in one station, because usually they are at the train station, and you leave the bike down in a different train station, then they ask you a commission of 10 yes. euros commission. 10 for, euros? Okay. Yeah. okay. So that's, uh, that's nice. If you, need, if you need a bike on the... Yeah, on in the, the spot. train station, then yeah, there is. That's, that's really convenient to do. Okay, nice. Well, do you, are you commuting? And if so, how? Let us know. Yeah. You can reach <laughs> us at our email, expatsinnetherlands at gmail.com or Instagram, expatsinnetherlands. Yeah. See you next time. Bye. At a certain point, you zoned out and you looked back at me and you started laughing. You were like, oh my God, what happened <laughs> in the last five minutes? Yeah.